There we go. Changes March 27th. That's today. Did it update again? We heard bits. <laughs> my go oh my god. Yeah, we'll find out by doing. Learn by doing. Yeah. Did did the metronome look synced up? Wait, what else do I have turned on right now? Thigh highs are fine. We should probably turn rare spells off, maybe? Just two minor updates today and yesterday doing fixes. Aha. You died, sell hole, instant gold at once. That's all probably fine. Restart with mods enabled. Look good, perfect. Man. My favorite drink is TV Static, by the way. If you haven't had a tall, cold glass of TV Static, you're missing out. This shit's delicious. You gotta try this. Mmm. I think that was a Cinemax movie. Oh, quite good. Probably remove increased rare spells. Just be safe, right? Have to overhaul it for every new beta. Oh, yeah. Scrambled flavor. It's a, uh, a matcha lavender latte. Oh, I've become the skateboard. Woo! Nah, what's going on? Ow. Whoop, don't spray that on yourself. Just kind of without thinking. I'm like, I need water. Well, this is convenient. And what's that? Let's get, go ahead. Uh, ditch this. Fill it with water. Not much. In a good way. What episode are you on now? Oh, now I'm going backwards. Probably catching up to, uh, to me and Mudge. Yum, 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 yum. All right, got some water. Whoa, sir. Are there any, like, dramatic updates we should be looking out for? You finished it, alright. I'm still only on, I think, four, maybe five? Can't remember. Smart. Just start a small fire. You liked it? Good. Yeah, it'd be nice if uh, they announce that season two will happen. Come here, sir. <laughs> Sucker. Sucker! Yeah! Mmm. Efficiency. Two for the price of one. There's that small fire I started. You know, be a fun material for this game? Antimatter. Hmm. But, like, wouldn't that just destroy everything? Like, a little bit of matter touches a little bit of antimatter, and then suddenly uh, everyone's dead. That. Dead forever. What's going on, Mighty Odin? Just find a flask of that shit, and then everything's gone. Not much? I want, I want a video game about interstellar warfare that's like 
played on an interstellar timeline. Like, sending out attacks that are going to take hundreds of years, generations. You have to, like, fast forward time, but also kind of manage your politics on the planet so that they are still at war by the time your missiles actually land. I don't know if you could do it multiplayer. You can, might, might be able to do it, like, play-by-email style. It takes long enough in real time. I want to, like, a match of a game where I have to fast forward the clock for hundreds, thousands of years. Just start Shangri-La Frontier, it's very shonen. Oh my, yes. One million percent, yes. Oh my god, only 191 golds. All views of the Dwarf Fortress Storyteller? I would want something like that. Like, thinking about how long it takes for things to go long distances in space, I think it would be fun to have a game where it l really does take a long time. What? What? Oh, hey, buddy. Thank you for your hard work. Point two, point three, point two, point three, point five. I was just huck everything on here. Yeah, like I don't think Shangri-La Frontier is like masterclass of storytelling or anything, but it's a really fun show, like, that's all I wanted out of it. I, I was having fun with it. I still have to finish it. I appreciate its willingness to dive into what makes a, a shitty game mechanic every once in a while. And have that character just be really into that. First, as I should be. What's going on, Joe? Ba, ba, da, ba. Free run's just great. Like, such a good show. Come on, you know what? I have- I have the means. Too lazy to go back down. Aha! This is that little tube I was in earlier? Yeah. Some kind of lava tube. Now you're mad you gotta wait for more? Yeah. Such a class act show, though. Talked about it before, but like the vibes of that show alone are just, just perfect. Go on, Anon. I mean, I'm already outside. Might as well just get, get a quick little heart for myself and then ski daddle. In the world of Helldivers Two, the current uh, major order has me excited. Sounds like something big will happen sometime soon with the automatons. There we go. Criminal. Mm. Definitely get yourselves a nice... Oh, it's not showing up as static right now? That's disappointing. Now it just looks green. Which is weird, you're not supposed to see all the color. There we go. Delicious TV static, that's what I want. Mm. 
I'll just go left. Ba -ba -ba. Trying to think. Not too much has been going on. Just, just relaxing times. I did see that bridge that fell in Baltimore. I didn't realize bridges could go from bridging to not bridging that fast. That was such a fast bridge going down. The real question is, were there any Mothman sightings? The boat lost control. They had actually radioed ahead. It's why uh, the bridge was largely uninhabited at the time. I do believe there were some some people on the bridge, though. Only an engineer could design a bridge that barely stands up. What are you, an architect? <laughs> Sorry. I watch a lot of uh, Real Civil Engineer, and the man has a running joke about hating architects. Whoa! There we go. Nice fast watch. No more of this piddly slow one. Oh, yeah. Three ninety three. Maybe make it a little cool four hundred. I still have no choice but to believe the Mothman was somehow involved. Bridges don't go down without the Mothman being involved. That's his racket. To make a bridge that size, sturdy enough to survive a boat ramming into it, you need a lot of material? <coughs> Nonsense. You just need me. Have you seen me play bridge building games? <laughs> I make perfect bridges. I don't- I don't want them. I don't want them. I want better perks. To make a bride that size. That's a better perk. I'll take that. Alright, what do we got? I mean, for floor two, what I'm currently rocking is... a ropes. I know what I said. <laughs> I said bride, I meant bride. My own's in the business of sturdy brides. Huge tracts of land. <laughs> the first castle sank into the swamp, but the second castle, my boy. Also sank into the swamp, but the third burned down, fell over, and then sank into the swamp. But this one, this one will be your legacy. Yeah. But father. I want to sing. I want to dance. It's been a little while. It's it's probably time. Time for a rewatching of the Holy Grail. As foretold in legend. Yeah. 
Sucker. Standing under an exploding bomb. What was he thinking was gonna happen? Hey, hey. Ho, ho! Is that an orb weaver? Got a big old spider. Slowly coming down. Ah, uh, he'll be behind my monitor. Won't. Out of sight, out of mind. Have fun back there. Gardvar, hello there. Just joined. Is this about getting a run going? I have the exact same thought. Sorry, I was distracted by the spider. <laughs> I was watching climbing on my wall. What? I feel like I was talking about Monty, <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail. We are just starting here, though. Only on floor two. We got some good stuff going on. Looking for some of the new new stuff that happened in the update. I haven't haven't spoiled myself on it yet. Mostly because it was sent to me in, in text format, and I was too lazy to read it. The castle that keeps sinking. Aha. <laughs> That was a Monty Python quote. But we've all been there. Getting annoyed to run going and just... Dying. Having to start over. Concentrated mana, huh? Mm. Fell over, then burned. <laughs> burned down, fell over, sank into the swamp, but the next castle, my boy! Do some mushrooms down here. We got unstable teleportadium, which we're not going to, not going to shift that. That's too important. But chaotic polymorphine. What could, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe we shift that. Meat zone power plant. Meat zone's a new place too. This one stood so far. She's got huge tracts of land! What father? Whoa! Meets those fine, just don't get hit. It's a place you go later on. The power plants only go there if you have immunity to electricity. That's a bad place to go otherwise. Bing, bing. Do you want to suggest about which way you should go for new content? F me? For like the, the uh, beta update? Yeah. Yeah, give me, give me some ideas. I don't know where we should be looking. Oh, spider's on the move. I know we still have to kill that deer boss that flew away last time. What about men in tights? I saw them at about the same time. I love men in tights. I sometimes want to say it's my favorite of the Mel Brooks movies, but Blazing Saddles is so goddamn good. But so is Bride of Frankenstein. I really like Men in Tights. The desert might have passed the pyramid? Alright. Man, we were just out there earlier too, we could have just, could have just gone. Convenient. Sploosh. This is a good start. What's going on, Cabby? Point zero point seven. Fifty. Three forty. Press this one. I mean, if that's what you're into, I won't judge. <laughs> Be 
We've definitely had this conversation before. Boo! But what's everyone's favorite Mel Brooks movie? Yeah, I haven't haven't looked to see what the new stuff is. Chris talking about how much he hates Spaceballs? I like Spaceballs, it's just not my favorite Mel Brooks movie. Sorry, is there a lot of vomit all of a sudden? Oh, there's a lot of pea soup all of a sudden! <laughs> Why is there so much pea soup? I'm guessing, uh, Calic Polymorphine was un unaffected, uninvolved. But what turned into pea soup? Who's Mel Brooks, the director of... Spaceballs, Men in Tights, History of the Worlds... <clears throat> Blazing Saddles... We didn't plan on shifting again. Oh, you think it was fungus? He does play minor characters in all his movies. But I'm more talking about him as a director than anything else. You've only seen Men in Tights. I mean, Men in Tights is a great one. I really like Men in Tights. But, uh, we gotta, we gotta educate you. Gotta get you to see Blazing Sands. That way you could be involved in the internet's favorite game of You couldn't make that movie anymore. It's like, I think we could make that movie. What we got? 344 golds. Need to see space balls? I gave up a terrible day. I picked a bad day to give up sniffing glue. I do not believe Mel Brooks can make that movie anymore. <laughs> That's fair. You didn't like Pizza the Hut? You looked delicious, though. Yeah, Jordan Peele could totally do a Blazing Saddles. You don't like pizza? I didn't know you people were real. I've heard stories. I scarcely believe those stories could be true. I feel like I gotta ask you questions. <laughs> now, what about pizza don't you like? Just out of curiosity. No judgment. People could like or dislike whatever they want. But pizza's such a versatile food. You can make it in so many different ways. The toppings, the choices are unlimited. Four twenty. Blaze it. If I was to eat pizza, it'd basically be a cheese sandwich. Nothing... Nothing wrong with that. It's anti-homing! Ptoo! Ptoo! I hate you. Orbiting... I mean, I do like box. Still got... I got rock already, but nice to see rock. Always nice to see rock. Oh, yeah! Ah, a good perk. Finally, some good perk. That's the thing, though. Like, if you don't like sauce and you just want, like, pizza crust with cheese on it, that's great. That's still delicious. You could still say you like pizza. Annie Homing has new use cases. 
in this beta, in fact. Okay. All right, I'll grab it. I'm glad there's uses for it, because in the past it's always been, oh, anti-home and cool. Throw it in the garbage. Cheese sandwich, add tomato, that's two pizzas. <laughs> If we had unlimited spells, I'd be a happy boy. No tomato, tomato bad. All right, all right. But like you could still do like a white slice, no tomato sauce in there, just delicious cheese, crust and garlic. Hmm. No garlic, wow. Now that doesn't make any sense to me. Garlic's just one of the most perfect tasting things on the planet. A world without garlic, oh my god. Olive oil? Do you love olive oil? Alright, we got a, a fast pew pew wand. We do have the makings for if we wanted to do something with some nice nesting. I mean, we got the options here. The question is, what are we going to nest in there? Oh, good question. Just the bready base and cheese. That's still pizza. Sweet Thai chili sauce with chicken and zucchini. Ooh. I made a uh, Japanese-style curry yesterday with chicken thighs and shaved beef, baby gold potatoes, carrots, mushrooms. It was delicious. You didn't think it was possible? You found something with too much garlic, huh? A Georgian restaurant. Garlic chicken. Just too much garlic. That doesn't sound right. Were you perhaps eating it wrong somehow? <laughs> Hello there. At what point is a pizza no longer a pizza? When there's no pizza crust. I had some nice Noida runs lately. I'm improving. Starting to use teleport wands. Made a huge difference. Be able to escape dangerous situations. Yeah. Also, what's going on, Jernunu? Like, I feel like as long as you have a pizza crust and toppings... So a tortilla with pepperoni cheese and sauce on it isn't a pizza? See, what you describe there is something I call a pizza dia. And I do make pizza dias. Pizza dias are great. But I feel like it has to be a leavened... A leavened pizza dough. I got Tasting History by Max Miller the other week. Some really interesting recipes in there. I love his YouTube channel. We were talking about it a couple of weeks back when I was turning on uh, <laughs> the stream and my YouTube was actually up. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I watch this channel. I am tempted to pick up that book. It does look like it has a lot of fun stuff in it. A French bread pizza isn't pizza? You see, by virtue of how you're saying these things, it's already a, a separate kind of pizza by being a French bread pizza. But as Zabatsu points out, it's on 11, 11 dough. Mushrooms are a must for me on every pizza. I love mushrooms. They don't have to be a must for me, but I often uh, appreciate their, their existence on the pizza. I mean, why not have all three in there, right? The inedible Spartan soup. <laughs> really, you like raw mushroom, but not cooked mushrooms. Eleven dough, huh? If I take a sugar cookie... Who hurt you today? You woke up and chose violence, huh? <laughs> Alright, true axiom. At what point is a pizza not a pizza? I pose this question to you. I do like sugar cookies, though. Not sure I like those blockings I'm seeing there. Ow! Oh. 
is a hot dog a sandwich? You're gonna fit in just fine here. That's a conversation we've literally had several times. What was our last argument? Ah, uh, I remember. The last food argument, of course, was the best type of french fry. I didn't realize so many of you were wrong. That day I learned a lot. Is cube rule forbidden here? We've discussed cube rule. It's not forbidden. How long is a string? Depends on if I generate the string using, um... Using the cantrip. What's that cantrip called? Son of a bitch, I just used it the other day. Literally yesterday I used it. Curly fries are soggy. All fries can be soggy. It's a matter of eating them when they're fresh enough to not be fucking soggy. Come on! You've had bad curly fries. It's gonna- it's gonna be hard for you, but you're gonna have to go into an Arby's, and you have to eat the fries in the Arby's. Then you'll have some good curly fries. Waffle fries are good, though. Some scary noises up there. See, I'm not a huge Five Guys fries guy. That was a sentence I hope never to say again. Too hard to say. Do you judge by medium or top 10% of experiences? That's a personal taste thing right there. I typically judge things based on like, probably top 10 experiences. Like if I really like a thing, that's gonna color my, my judgment of the thing for a long time. Even if I mostly have mediocre versions, just the knowledge that something really good exists will forever change the fact like, oh. These fries are incredible. They're crinkle cut? Crinkle cut fries are great. I've just had bad crinkle cut fries. That's all I'm gonna think about. Had some run that started with infinite spells, blood cloud and vampirism early. But I'm so bad I ruined the run anyway. Most times I seem to die to electricity or electric elementals. Yeah, things that can do a lot of damage fast will... They will prematurely end runs. What's going on, Pix? My favorite is if I can get homing and piercing, not piercing, a drilling shot, homing, and slime clouds with damage aura, damage fields, I will make a hunter seeker cloud that just finds and murders everybody on the level. I love that. Accelerative homing with rock will always be one of my favorites, but you need unlimited spells for that. My boy, Rock. Oh, no. How you doing, Pix? Any good uh, Rift Wizard 2 runs? I was frozen and on fire. Do, 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 do. 540 golds. Oh. Tortilla pizza for dinner because of the discussion. Pizza dias are great. Who doesn't like a pizza dia? Bang! I love them too. You forget this game's hard. Ew! Man, a charge speed of nineteen. No, thank you. I'm from Sweden, while being known for meatballs, in my opinion, our best culinary invention, Hasselback potatoes are awesome, yes. When done right, somewhere between open potoots and chip slash crisps. They are very good. Mozzarella, pepperoni, banana peppers, love banana peppers. You can kick the rock around low without unlimited spells. <laughs> you can. My problem is if you do accelerative homing, finding the rock again is hard. Like, it's just a, a streak of light on your screen. Normal homing rock, you could kick it around. Does solve the problem. Linear arc. So. 
top two potato sides up there were potatoes fondant you know I do like gas blow it's not not a top tier experience but I like it makes you a little lighter don't have to worry about being stained as much I'd rather get oil blood first and then replace my oil blood with gas blood definitely don't want to eat your vegetables if I'm not buying a wand I guess I could reroll here I'm gonna try to get unlimited spells so I can do exploding boxes. I mean, if we take Iron Stomach, we could then take Eat Your Vegetables later, but let's just take Stainless Armor. Even though the thing that makes Stainless Armor work better was the perk we rolled away. Can't win. If you don't eat your vegetables, you'll never go big and strong. I don't want to eat my vegetables! Easy base is next. Matcha latte counts as vegetables, right? My last homing rock run ended by trying to put out fire by using a polymorphine flask. The second you get polymorphed, whatever your spells are, that home will home it on you. <coughs> it's real rough. <coughs> left or right? Is the secret entrance on the left or the right? I'm gonna say right. <laughs> what, did I feel bad for him? Like, oh, he's gonna miss. Let me jump up there. Take the shot. Gotta have the safety egg prepped. For emergency polymorph situations. The solution's just transmute polymorph out of existence. You do enough mushrooms, everything becomes safe. English breakfast in pizza shape. Tomato slices, bacon, eggs, mushrooms, onions. That sounds amazing. That sounds great. Can I? Come on. There's like one pixel of metal. Come on. I see electricity. Have a good day, Dernunu. Maybe I'll see you later. Otherwise, if I don't, have a good night. Damn it, we chose poorly. Man. It's on the left side. All right. Change places. Eight hours going to work. <sighs> Talking about hell divers. Yeah, I was saying uh, the new major order makes me excited that. Uh, Something big might be happening soon with the automatons. I'm hoping we get, uh, get the cyborgs as units soon. Sleeping time? Ah, uh, we'll sleep well. Ooh. 
In the first game, uh, the factions were a previous version of the bugs, the Terminates. Uh, the cyborgs, they weren't just full robots. And the Illuminates. And we know the Illuminates gonna show up sooner or later. But in the meanwhile, I imagine the first big update that's going to happen is going to be a, a new wave of enemy types for the bots in the form of the cyborgs. Although, new versions of the bugs could happen first. But given that this major order is called, uh, we gotta stop the bots from doing something called the reclamation, makes me think, uh, maybe the bots will happen first. There's a wand down there. Old bundle. Let's put rock in my pocket. Is it a rock in your pocket? Illuminate? <laughs> the Illuminate are like psychics. They're kind of like the Protoss. They also had snipers in the first game that were very funny. You'd just be minding your own business and then a, a blue laser would hone in on you and take your head off. Just stay down there, dude. Really, we need this many of you here? Gotta bounce my shots to kill you? There we go. Are we there yet? God. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's scary. That's right. That's why it's scary. Jeez. Let's not jump into any more freezing vapor. A little toasty, but not too bad. Sir, thank you for not killing me. God damn. Propane tanks are responsible for probably the most of my losses in Noida. Nothing kills you dead or faster than a bunch of propane tanks. Just burn! Burn already! Forget you. Oh god, he picked up the wands. I don't know what's in there. How afraid of the wands should I be? Uh, sorta, I guess? Kinda? Oh, 
want that and that and just one of those, but I want to keep this one. What are the anti homings going to be used for? We need a hang hill, that's just gonna help us with the propane. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Did Tim Curry carry Muppet Treasure Island? I don't know if I would say he carried it, but he's definitely a big part of what made that movie so good. I feel like if he carried Muppet Treasure Island, that means my, my cocaine uh, carried a Christmas carol. You just you need a you need a human actor that is willing to play it straight and interact with the Muppets as peers and not objects. He did it. My evidence is God damn it, Chris. I was writing this. <laughs> Dozo, Dozo, please. After, after you. Ooh, all spells the black holes. Ah, uh, you guys can stay here. Summon swamp. Make things red. You know that movie line by line by heart? It's a good movie. It's a damn good movie. Damn fine movie. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, you really gotta watch that X Men ninety seven. That's that's your whole jam. Burns through the mana too fast. It's all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, just leave it like that for now, until we find the prophesized ad mana. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, one of them is nice to have, just in case. Alright, let's get out of here. Has anyone watched the new uh, X-Men 97 yet? Propane tank, I fear you. I see you in that clump of snow. and be on my way. And now the guys will be angry with me. Oh. 
Healing bolt, eh? I mean, if I had fire immunity, I would probably grab it. Or if it were earlier in the run. I kind of want to reroll, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to reroll. Apparently, Hormel sued Jim Henson Productions over that movie. They felt the spam character was a trademark issue, but a judge dismissed it because there were no cognizable damages. <laughs> if anything, you would think the other way around. People would be like, I don't know why, but I've never been much for spam, but I want to try it today. I don't know. Let's just go buy spam, shall we, honey? Without knowing, they secretly were suddenly into spam. I gotta sell some stuff. No one has ever been like that. Maybe a Hawaiian person. They like spam. I have it on good authority. They enjoy spam products. Like, in reality, I'll probably never use you, but why not hold on to it? After all, why not? Why shouldn't I? Uh, as far as timers go, I'd rather have spark bolts, so just... Did you... I would love unlimited spells right now. I want to make a big exploding wand. I had a run where I had distance cast, propane tank, and plasma beam. Crept around Heesy Base like goddamn Solid Snake. Sneak. This is a snaking mission. Place with heavy US military occupation. Typically like spam. You hear it's good when grilled. I've really had very little experience with spam. Part of me kind of wants to just grab it one day and experiment. I suppose if we treat it as one box that's going to blow up. We can just kind of reload. We'll have uh, three 15 explosion clips. That ain't too shabby. <coughs> Spam sushi. With a slice as big as a deck of cards. Are we talking like a full, unedited Bellatro deck? Oh, Bellatro. Maybe we should play some Bellatro today. God, Bellatro is a lot of fun. Godnoid is a lot of fun. Oh, Bellatro. You picked up Bellatro? It's real good. It's real good. Criminally good. You know, this one. Just like this in here. People kept calling it a roguelike to keep me away. Like, I feel like a way to sell it as without using the term roguelike is deck builder. Like, it's, it's kind of a platonic ideal of a deck builder. <laughs> You wish it was prettier to watch and listen to. That's fair. If you're not into that kind of stuff, it is pretty straightforward. I will admit it has only one music track, and it's starting to fall into the problem that Rift Wizard 1 had for me. Which is, like, a run could last a while, and having that one track on loop forever could get a little, like... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, the infinite point hands. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I need to unlock some more stuff to make that kind of stuff happen for me. Had an always cast upward larpa and explosive box. My PC is a bad, but it chugs. I love doing chaos larpa with exploding box. It's just a box that poops boxes out until the whole screen freezes for a minute. And then everything explodes. It's great. You missed the Nitro Kid? What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make a remix track list that we could play for certain games that will still have Nitro Kid in there. All you need is the Baron and Mime. Felton needs Nitrogen. 
Guardvire, thank you for that follow and welcome to the Shake the Box family. Happy to have you here. It seems like you're gonna fit right in. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna use this kind of as a, uh... We'll, we'll just imagine it as a grenade launcher. We, are, we have to change the clip every 15 shots. And we have three clips. It definitely needs other music, yeah. Yeah, it does. Nitro Kid is a great soundtrack. We'll probably use that one. A man of many talents. Like a cool eagle or a hawk. There are things here that I think I want to grab. Like that right there. I prefer that for when I want to listen to music. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Throw you in there. <laughs> Throw you here. Put these both up here. Take that out for a second. Buy this. Put that there. Only need one of these. Put that away. If we can get add mana, we'll have a perfect infinite laser beam you want. Good enough for some digging right now. Let's get out of here! Why would I do that? I know there's only so many shots in there. I just got excited to pull the trigger. Hello. That's perfect. Ow, ow. God damn it. Bang. Bang. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna need something other than a big explosion one, aren't I? They were filled with money! Whew. Progressive rock or folk punk? That's what you're into right now. I enjoy most genres. Not all of them. But I think overall I listen to a lot of EDM. A lot of progressive metal. Like me a dream theater. Yeah, I'm already down to three. Three and eight. Now we have this. Let's throw that out there. That'll help. Hockin. I'm bad at names. I'm gonna say no, though. I don't think I'm familiar. But it could just be I forgot. Whew. Free Run has a great soundtrack. I should really grab that. Roach King is von absolute bang. Oh, someone posted in the jukebox in the Discord. I'll take a listen. What if I just miss every shot? That's an option, right? Aiming's for suckers. Oh, uh, he's an absolute bang. All right. like that must be part of the name. I'll just read it as written. Good thing I have that explosion muni. Oh my god. They were filled with so much candy. Man, no one explodes like the spiders do. It's so good. the wands, but, uh, can say no to having large magic missiles. Bop you there, bop you there, replace you. Yeah. Alright, 
Let's go. Every once in a while, a better, better bullet will come out. You're listening to Hawking right now. I typically trust True Axiom's uh, musical taste, so sounds like it's good stuff. Reload. Reload. Okay. Man, I want more Masha. Grass, grass, soil pouch. Zerky. Yeah, no thank you. Woo. Gather a bit of liquid gold in that empty flask? If I see liquid gold, I always take liquid gold. My potion, good stuff. Although rare for the uh, alchemical formula to come together. 2700. Oh, Spear Guy's here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Could have looked around a bit more, though. <gasps> Homing! Dreams do come true. Unlimited spells. Oh my god. Well then. It's all coming together. Let's see. Definitely want that homing. I mean, we got rock. I mean, what else do we need? Twenty-eight radius, sixty-two damage. Yeah, I'll just leave that in there. Just two boxes and a giant firebolt to set it all off. Homing on rock. Coming out of a timer. I think most of the contents of this one are just gonna go in here now. Into my favorite mod, Cell Hole. Bang. Bit slow on the cast delay, though. Try spell Cell Hole. Try Finger Butthole. The other option, of course, is just something like this with homing. But, given that we only have the one copy of homing right now, homing rock is just too much fun. Could do better, though, this guy. Got into Coheed and Camry a while back, was so stoked when I found out each album had a comic, not as stoked when I saw the resell costs. Yeah, the second-hand market ruins a lot of that kind of stuff. Try finger butthole? <laughs> Sounds like a kung fu style. But I do enjoy a good concept album. How? He lit me on fire! Hold on, it's blowing up without the inclusion of? In that case, triple box. Oh, yeah. Got a box. It's not even large explosive box either. We could get a better box. 
will be a better box. <laughs> we got your concentrated spells, Misty Spirits. You did it! There can only be one of you. Let's put that here. And now I can grab this. How is that still available? Someone must have forgotten to grab it. Throw a little mist of spirits in the middle. Now we blow them up and set them on fire. Now it doesn't explode. No, no. Cast four. Ow. There we go. put this back in there. I don't believe you. Guy with a knife. Whoa, octopus. Ooh, ooh, scary. A little spicy. Good comic. I would like that. Gonna have to use some uh, concentrated mana to dig our way through, maybe. Although it could be up and over. Under and up, rather. Oh, critical I'm burning! I cannot afford it. That's quite nice. A lot of fire, though. Wish I was immune to that. I mean, really, am I going to use this one? Probably not. Ah, I'm going to take this Mr. Spirits out. Fire's only hurting me in the end. Fire bad. 
Hold on a minute, though. My brain. It did it. It saw and identified what I needed to do. Brain, good work. So proud of Brain today. Make it red. All right, got that all sorted. Spawn a rock already. What's the man on this one? One sixty. All right. I think we could do better. Arch Firebolt with 20, there we go. I was gonna say, that's not right. The most powerful version. Consume. If integration were turned on right now, a potion would have fallen from the sky. I'm blowing the rock up. Son of a bitch. God damn, I'm out of here. Just sudden electricity. Well, the explosive part of his attack didn't harm me. It was the, uh, the after the explosion part, the electricity part. That's what hurt me. Come on. He is getting a little dicey now, though. I do wish when you picked up a heart, it gave you... It gave you the health that would come with the heart. Like, give me the plus 25 as usable health, not as potential future health. Woo! Then it wouldn't be Noida. That is fair. Larpa. It's the chosen run! <laughs> Quack! All seeing eye. I'm not opposed to all seeing eye. We gotta we gotta make some money though. There's two things here I want. Don't have a lot to sell though. This wand down here, whatever I put in there. We'll just sell the contents of the wand. Uh, yeah, leave that in there. Alright, I can get my duck. It's on sale. I would also like Chaos Larpa. Quack, quack. Mm. 
Oh, Chaos Larpa, I shall have you soon. I know somebody with some pockets. Don't blow up the don't blow up the rock. Just leave the rock leave the rock there. Thanks for the money. That wasn't enough money. What's going on, PJ? I'll just come back with more money. Gotta have my Chaos Larpa. Do I want to re-roll? I mean, if we're looking for new content, all-seeing eye is not the worst thing to have. And we are indeed looking for new stuff. Yeah, there was an update. Beta branch got new stuff. Heart. I've been in the beta branch for so long, I don't even... Is there a different version of Noita? C can you play not Beta Branch Noita? Is that even a thing? Yeah, the cumulative update's been going on for a while now in Beta Branch, huh? That's why it's annoying reading the patch notes. I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm usually in beta branches for not a lot of stuff. Like Noida I like being in, because Noida has been using the beta branch for a while now. Uh, Caves of Cud, in and out of the beta branch there. Nova Drifts. We tried the trade paperback. I think the rocks pushed that guy into the wall. You know, I think that wand has given me enough stuff to shove into the cell hole that we might be alright. I'm coming, cell hole! I'm coming! Wait for me! Stats on the wand. Mana charge speed is trash. Feed the whole thing to it. Oh, my sweet baby. Chaos Larpa. I only have 390 mana in this wand. <laughs> Well, that's not how I thought that was going to work. You could probably check the progress menu for gaps. Oh, yeah. What's my build? My build is build March 27th, 2024. All right. What are we missing in the beta branch here? 
Well, we, we've used them before, but the progress got erased when we swapped out of beta, but that's White Hole and that's Giga White Hole. There's only one more of the implicates for us to find. Something new there. Two new things over here. Touch of somethings. Right? We got touch of gold, touch of water. So two new touch ofs. Creates terrain? No, it's kind of like a black hole, but instead of pulling things in, it doesn't pull things in. What would be here? A blank to blank? Probably a blank to blank. Ooh. Something way at the bottom there. It blows! It shows up at rallies holding tiki torches. That's an old joke. Oh, uh, top my water off before I go. If I put my homing on there... I'm so tempted to put my homing on there. I don't know this U.S. reference. It's a bad reference. <laughs> Alright. We'll get one, one moment of enjoyment out of Chaos Larpa. Hey! That was a very chaotic. Uh, I love it. It just hurls boxes. Pretty much. It was like a far-right slash white supremacist rally. They all had tiki torches. The joke, instead of a black hole, a white hole. Bad joke, bad joke. I'll duck duck go it. We are gonna- we're gonna have our fun with Chaos Larp, but not- not yet. Not quite yet. Because homing would really bring that all together. I want a better wand. Huck this in there again. That'll do for now. Black indeed. Black indeed. In the comedy cultural zeitgeist, it was a a common joke for a little while. Sir, I am looking at a weapon of mass destruction over here. Please don't interrupt. That is a lot of nukes. I would like to transfer this wand over. Why would you want to find this wand? Give it a squeeze. Alright. We do have to watch its majesty at least once. Think fast! Fast lose! Oh, it's on cooldown for the next six days. Is it really playing Noida if your CPU is not melting? What's going on, Knife? Once I get another homing spell, my CPU will indeed melt. I have Chaos Larpa in box. I will make something bad. Touch the light! Oh, I'm changing its color right now. You can see we got a uh, red, red glimmer on there. Yeah, that was the funny part of the tiki torches. It was just like, but this is what you have outside for a barbecue in the in the suburbs. Is that a beta thing? No, no, no. Uh, you could unlock in your game right now all the different colors. If you don't want spoilers, I won't tell you how to do it. But if you want to know how to do it, I'll tell you. You can get... All these colors can be yours, PJ. 
Red, green, yellow, purple, even rainbow. Would you like to know how? It's a fun little quest. I'm doing good. How are you doing now? Anyway, hold on to a couple of these. Trying to make it past depth two. The neat thing is uh, you could unlock it immediately. No, please. Ah, oh, sorry. I know you don't want to know. All right. In that case, you'll you'll figure it out. Try to remember. There is like some things in this game have very little in the way of like an in-game system to help you figure out quests, and other quests have that in-game system. Just gotta explore again. And this is one of the ones that I'm pretty... I'm like 98% sure there is a tablet in the game, and the tablet will tell you... Not a tablet, it's a diary. You'll find a book. And it will tell you exactly what to do to unlock the colors. Other things uh, don't always have that. Getting weird muffled ads audio, like someone's watching TV in the background. How can we on three different streams today? Interesting. That sounds like it would be a situation where Twitch's ad server is having some sort of glitch. Playing Rift Wizard 2 right now. I got an exotic pet. Lich Slime. Every time it splits, it creates an urn. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of Lich Jars. You're not watching TV in the background? Uh, my computer has only headphones, no speakers. And no. No, no TV in the background. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Plenty of room for stuff on this. Plenty of mana to spend on it, too. Just throw that in there for poops and ha-has. Why not? Duck would be more at home here. It's not the size of the wand, it's how you use the wand. <laughs> yes, good! Nothing here is really going for speed, per se. I get the ads in channels where I'm not supposed to get ads. That is weird. Like I said, it might be uh, Twitch's ad server is, like, having a glitch where it's kind of pseudo-happening uh, while you're watching the stream. is such a good game. <laughs> uh, Rock is definitely giving us some extra golds. Box, I don't believe should be counting as an accidental kill, but box is weird. Uh, large box doesn't have a physical hitbox, but small box does. But I don't have homing on it, so it's unlikely it's hitting anyone. Yeah, Duck Wand, one of my favorites. I love Duck with Chaos Larva. Yeah, mess him up, ducks!
Ah, <laughs> uh, ducks. I'm trying to remember, we have a new boss we still need to go get. We know where one of the new bosses is. Once we get down to the bottom, we'll start digging our way back up to the top. I know Alva was playing this, and they said uh, they experienced uh, some significant changes. I haven't seen anything too different so far. But maybe outside. Outside, maybe things have changed. Sir? No. Polymorph Mage. Don't care for him. Audrey, what's up? Oh, you fuck! No! Oh, Lord! That. Ooh! 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 That was fucked up. What are those crystals? One of the crystals will make, um... <laughs> one of the crystals will make an earthquake effect happen, another crystal will turn into a uh, corrupted zone. Jesus, that was... It put my rock pushed into the room with me and it just unloaded hell. Unleashed hell. Deer spell, if I recall, that's kind of important for one of the things we want to do, right? Yeah, yeah, for island place. Yeah, you can see we got, like, curse rock there. It was corrupt. Deer and ducks. We're a nature wizard now. Ah, uh, there's the frame rate chugging I'm used to. How you doing, Therion? So much duck blood. Don't come any closer. That's right. Go back up. Fly away now. Fly, fly, fly. Try to warn you. Worm pheromones. Excuse me. Duox? Duars? Yeah, I'm immune to explosions, but not fire. Turns out, a lot of fire with explosions. Right? Chaos Larpa Box is one of my favorites. Add ducks in there for extra fun. On principle. Oh, what happened, ghost? You little bastard! This is a Rift Wizard. We'll probably have some Rift Wizard 2 today. I really like Rift Wizard 2. Been very much enjoying the Rift Wizard 2. Wow, 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 wow. 
The only explosion without fire? There's actually a lot of explosions without fire. Some things you uh, might not remember, <laughs> might remember, might not think of as explosions. Like, uh... My boy, Energy Orb. It has an explosion radius. But it doesn't hurt you, nor does it cause fire. This is one of my favorite spells for digging with because of that. It doesn't dig through, like, super hard materials, but early levels, you get the spell, perfect digger. Love it. Great for digging. How is Audrey not a moderator? Audrey, do you want to be a moderator? Have you been have you been saying you want to be a moderator this whole time and I didn't know? Spells to nukes! Jesus. I didn't know you felt this way, Audrey. I'm sorry. Revenge bullets, critical hits, stronger hearts. Uh, it's gonna be a long dig. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Slime blood is nice. At a moment's notice, Chris will give anyone a sword. That's how I got mine. I do like giving out swords. Uh, item radar. It'll tell you where items are. So potions, uh, the magic rocks, eyeballs, anything that's not not a wand, but is like an item you could pick up, this will point you toward. I just have this wrench. <laughs> I like slime blood, but one more reroll. Ew. One more reroll. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's still good. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. Make a little extra money. You know who's hiding out there right now? Ducks. I, I love you, but I want to see the bomb. Just the bomb, please. Just the bomb. <laughs> nice. Alright. Yes, the bomb. Put the box back in there. I don't know if I need that in there yet. Man, Duck really likes taking priority on the LARP. <coughs> LARP element. A CSS sheet.
<laughs> Although I don't have that much money and the stuff down there is pretty expensive. Now this is hell divers. God, I love hell divers so much. All right. Helldivers? It's so much fun. I can't stop playing Helldivers. Ponty! How you doing, Ponty? Good. Do you want a redo of last night? Hello there. Hello there. He doesn't play Helldivers, everyone else needs to go to bed. <laughs> That's when I'm awake! You had your first coffee today? Nice. I'm glad your stomach's doing better. Saboteur is a funny word. Sabat means clog in French, as in wooden shoe. During the industrialization and protest of losing their French workers would throw their shoes, sabats, in the machinery. Literally clogging up the works. Give us the word saboteur and the expression clogging up. So I can't even watch the next morning. <laughs> I have been streaming it in the Discord. All right, maybe, maybe uh, tonight, toward the end of stream, when I would normally leave and then stream later, maybe we'll just turn Helldivers on. If folks like watching that, I'll turn. It. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll give you some Helldivers later. Because one of my favorite planets is available. Around hell hours at 6 a.m. your time? I know, your your time difference makes life difficult. Because I almost entirely play Hell Divers. Yesterday was like the earliest I played it in ages, which was like 11 p.m. my time. And then Joe never even showed up. He lied to me. Although I'm glad you're going to those horror double features, Joe. I'm jealous of this. Wish my theater was doing that. I do want to go see Late Night with the Devil, though. I like that actor, whose name I can't remember ever. Looks good. Yeah, you always see me playing when at 7 or 8 in the morning your time. How do we know how far up we need to dig? Uh, so where we are currently in the game worlds, if we go straight up, we'll end up in the dungeon we were in before. I can vaguely hear it. We're almost there. <sighs> oh, it'll just open up into the, the dungeon into the floor we were on previously. See, you can see some sand up here. Usually it's not this thick, but the final floor teleports you down and right a little bit. They were selling taxidermy squirrels at the theater. My friends both bought one that are a torso up of the squirrel on a plaque with the message, fuck you under it, and the squirrels are flipping the bird. Please do post that in the Discord. Speaking of Tim Curry, how great is Rocky Horror? Rocky Horror, I've only seen once. Is that true? Yeah. At a live event. And they gave me the, like, you're a new person uh, treatments. Which as a, uh, an awkward person, not my favorite experience. <laughs> $80 a piece, I pass. Taxidermy! As far as art goes, I understand why it's expensive, because it does require you to have a corpse. Makes makes it hard. The talking plant in Rick Moranis is Rocky Horror, right? No, that is uh, not Rocky Horror. <laughs> uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show is the Tim Curry... Sorry, I had to uh, defend myself for a second. You're thinking of Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors. 
doo-wop doo-wop the musical experience little shop of horrors rocky horror picture show is uh rocky horror i'm trying to think of a good way to describe it for someone that hasn't seen it tim curry kind of kind of like a musical as well different kind of musical Yeah, sexy Tim Curry, but Tim Curry's always sexy. That's his default state. Frank Inferto, yes. Spice. Spies! I thought the plant slash Rick was part of the show. That'd be a long movie. That's that's two different feature length movies in one movie. Like Grindhouse. Alright, we could take a, a slightly faster route by just going back to where we were earlier. Oh, my eyes! Oh. You would kill for some snow? I'm still angry at how little snow we've gotten this year. Where'd that box even come from? Either put on these glasses or we're start starting this trash game. Ow! Oh. All we got this year was freezing rain. Like the Zelda cartoon being part of the TV Mario Brothers show. <laughs> But usually I think of the cartoon Link as being part of uh, the CDI games. Are the arrows considered melee? I believe they are considered slicing. Slicing damage, kind of like the buzzsaws. Cutting damage. Excuse me, princess. The version I have in my head of Excuse Me, Princess is from Terminal Montage. No immunity for it, as far as I know, yeah. There's no gravity fields. I wouldn't be opposed to having that in my pocket. I know the game is telling me it's running at 50 frames per second, but it doesn't look like it's running at 50 frames per second right now. Bird up. Burn, burn, burn. Total montage. One of my favorite consistent YouTube animation experiences. I love Terminal Montage. I was so happy when he put out a Helldivers video. Now I have Troll Blood Slimes and Lich Slimes. It takes five minutes for the screen to clear when I finish the floor. When I was doing the four and a half hour long Brain Tree run, I had a similar experience. Because they would grow at a faster rate than the clearing of the floor. Oh yeah, the crit on burning. I was thinking about that earlier. But honestly, most of the explosions happen and they're already dead. Ow! Son of a bitch! Asshole. Nah, we don't have to have burn immunity for that. Like, we could set things on fire from a distance. The problem is, uh, the distance varies a lot. I'm setting myself on fire all the goddamn time. But we have this to heal us. Accidentals. Which is still a weird term for it. Heal me. It's def definitely not running at a good frame rate right now. We might want to mod restart when we get to where we're going. Just a quick little refresher. I feel like it's moving in slow motion. Uh, 
All right, fine. Don't be real. Pixels. Fine, I won't be real. Oh, oh, oh. I like it just bashes his way through the shields. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get where I'm going, don't worry. Blood, cure my poison. Thanks, buds. Got him. The red hit flash freaks me out. Doesn't always match the damage you take. Yeah, it's just like a hit indicator for you, but sometimes you take a lot of damage, and other times it's like, you took one point of damage. I feel like I can't really complain about my frame rate when I'm willingly building wands that create 9,000 ducks at a time. It's kind of on me, I suppose. Oh, there must have been a chest here. What is that? Shields, explosion on drunk? Oi, 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 oi! Enjoy life there. When did I put a box in the wands with the rock? What was here before I put a box in there? Was there something else there? A duck and LARP is too much fun for it to have been a duck. Dear. Dear, oh dear. Come on, push the deer up. It's just, just a platform for a deer to stand on. That's what this one is. What is Rock doing? Rock, what are you trying to home in on? What is, what have I done? It's a deer elevator, that's what I, oh. It homes in on the deer. It's a perfect wand in every way. <laughs> it's a deer bully wand. All right, deer, let's take you back out of that wand. Anti-homing. All right, put deer on there. And anti-homing? So homing and anti-homing? going to keep this one that way. Take that right out of there. I don't have immunity for friggin' lightning. 
Anyway, I need to be going to the left, right? Not left, right. Right? Right. Yeah, there we go. I'm told that perhaps in beta there is there is a use for anti-homing, a spell that I consistently don't understand the point of. You're gonna want to teleport. I would love a fire. Like, I haven't seen a single teleport yet. We've tested anti-homing on Gigasaw. I remember distinctly dying. I have clear, vivid memories. Do 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 do. Just gotta do what do do do. Maybe we should test it again. Science does say we have to test things multiple times. What's that small light blue pool of liquid? That right there is what makes the teleporters work. So this is teleportatium. It's in a little eyeball. If I were to break this and drain the liquid out, this portal would disappear. Fun fact, you could find empty eye on floor three every once in a while. If you fill that with liquid, it'll open a portal that takes you somewhere special. Hey, hey, hey. Don't go in the portal. I did say somewhere special. Is this Pokemon all over again? What? Ah, didn't reach. Gotta go to the portal room. Excuse me, ducks. Excuse me. More healing than that, come on. Alright, we don't have melee immunity, but the damage output is such. The portal thing? Ah, oh, you'll see in a moment, yeah. Oh, you mean the portal thing I was just talking about? Also, yes. I'm about to do a different portal thing. Black hole, finally. 2.4 seconds, though. That's too slow. Take what I want from the wand. That's all I want. Instead of bomb, put you in there. I love having you in that wand. Don't really need you. You just one shot a baby dragon? Yes. It's the special place Candy Mountain. It's like a teeny little blip on the map somewhere. It usually has a couple of uh, mid tier wands for you. I think you should make a LARPA prickly spore pot one. <laughs> Wish I had accelerate up here. Whatever. This will get me started. 
Serious suggestion, if I find, uh, spore pods, I'll do it. I'll do it. I haven't seen the eyeball on floor 3 for quite some time, but I haven't really been fully exploring floor 3 for a while now. Oh, mouse! You got it the other day, nice. You don't wash the ranch dust off your fingers, you lick the fingers. Almost. Almost. Yeah, you're clearly typing to us right now. So we want to go to the right of the pyramid. This is a perfect time for me to go pee. BRB. Filled with... The four essences represent the four elements that form this. Get out of your books, are for nerds! Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. PJ kills people for money. I knew it! Assassin! Uh, exclamation mark smart, I believe, is the one, right? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Bone Shambler Liches are a thing. Yeah, I believe every enemy is capable of having, like, a modifier. Which means you can run into things that you just, you don't want them. You don't want them to be Liches. What are you doing out here? Now, I don't believe soul jars count as a enemy proper. Watchtower. This is just new. This is straight up new. There's a whole new dungeon? Can't quite make out the top part of it. Hate bolt run successful? I want to do a hate bolt run. It looks like a little lake, a little pool with fish in there. It may be an egg. It could be like the sun. Yeah, definitely fish. Time to drain the lava. We've done so many things with the sun already. Can't see, eh? Let me drink more TV static. Oh yeah, delicious TV static. That'll, that'll...
Need some lava of the blood. I do have some lava of the blood. I'm just like uh, starting the process, so to speak. I likely have to have the bottom be. Whoa, whoa. Little drainage ditch there before I put this back in. I wonder where the water is coming from when I make the blood here. There we go. Steam condensing? Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a question mark. It's some sort of shape with a question mark in the middle above a bunch of fish in a pool. I, um, this could be a situation where it wants me to fill this, or it's telling us to go somewhere. Like, maybe it wants me to go to that pool of water to the right of the Holy Mountain. Got a solid shot at purple chips and Bellatro. Ooh, Marin. You done chaos and hate bolts? Your next run. You could go for. Have you ever done, in Rift Wizard One a really fun run that could be a little tricky to set up, but you can get it going. Is dominate, but you use um. You use that. Spell that you target a frozen enemy and it reapplies whatever you cast on the frozen enemy to everyone else And there's a perk that pairs with it And you could basically mass dominate every enemy on the level that has less than like if you've upgraded uh, Dominate 80 hit points So like with one freeze like word of ice followed by <laughs> Followed by dominate just instantly like 80% of the level works for you. It was a really fun run in uh, Rift was one Kind of curious about it, Rift Wizard 2. Some alchemical changes and additions. Otherwise, it's always fun to do, uh... <clears throat> always fun to do... A Lord of the Dead kind of run. What was that? That like almost that like, properly scared me. TV's so dark I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a question mark above like a pool of ice, but yeah, a sound trigger there and the music stops. It it really threw me off. So we could we could fill this with water. Well not fill it, but we could put water in here. Yeah, Restless Dead with Enchanter's Boon. I also love Noida so much. So a weird noise played when we went in here, and we have some symbols to work out. Yeah, there's a question mark. 
I wonder, like, does it want us to use... We could fill this with water. I mean, in reality, if we could find all the components, we could literally put fish in here. So we could put water in here, put fish in here, and then there's, uh... <clears throat> there's the transmutation, like, one liquid into another. Not that one. It's in here somewhere. So I feel like that one also features a question mark, right? Like, there's that one, but that's not what I'm looking for. Right here. Chaotic transmutation. Various liquids and powdery substances into other things. I don't know. I mean, we'll crack the top open. We'll have this ready. But this is something we need to figure out. We got a question mark. Cloud on the right. Cloud on the left. Looks like mountains, mountains, and a pool with fish in it. Like, that makes me think we should go to the pool of liquid to the right of the holy mountain. Which has usually a mountain on the left, a mountain on the right, fish in a pool, has the instrument in it. Is there something above this spot in the sky? I don't know. Like, this this wasn't here, like, two, three days ago? This didn't exist. But we'll look around a little bit. I want to go get my gold. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Rome wasn't built in a day. Alright, get my golds. There's a lot of wrong answers Chris has spent all day exploring. We have a couple of things we know we want to do. We want to go to the lake. Uh, probably want to go underground. Your word hint is very related to the word hint from Monday. In that this is a school of magic. Live and drink, my friend. Mm. It's it's cooled war it's warm static, but I, I I cooled it down. It's uh warm static and ice. What was it? The last school of magic was um What was what was uh, the word for the last time? Thermaturgy? It was abjuration, yes, that was last word. It was abjuration. You all remember what to do whenever uh, anyone invocation. says you keep your word, right? <laughs> That's right! Scream real loud! Gonna go get my gold, gold, golds, gold, gold, golds. So we have a tower. Kind of curious to see if there's anything under the tower. We have to go to the lake for the lake lord thing. <laughs> gun. That's Katase's favorite school of magic is gun. Muscle magic? As someone that greatly enjoys Mashal, I gotta say, School of Muscle Magic, very good so far in that show. Fizz bitch. <laughs> I like that one too. One of my favorite things, of course, is uh, taking two random schools from Hogwarts and just mixing them together. Because that's just always fun. Griffin Puff, Slitherdor, they just sound great. Spine magic. Guns and element, excuse you? I thought it was a school of magic, too. It's 
starting to feel like uh, I should have seen the gold by now. What's going on? Where's my gold? Did they? Did they remove the gold biome? Am I going crazy? There it is. Oh. We're just going slower than normal because we don't have anything extending the length of my laser. Not that there's anything wrong with the length of my laser. It's cold out, is all. Thank you. It's just a little chilly. Perfectly, perfectly average. Laser beam. <laughs> Shrinkage is real! Cold makes lasers work better. Damn. For those that are new to Noida, that's usually filled top to bottom, literally no space at all of gold. Just filled with gold! That giant space, 250,000 gold in that space. But it takes like 10 minutes to pick it up, so I, I have a mod that lets me pick it up as one quick pickup. And life is better that way. Actually. Boo! Should I go down to Mushroom Land now? I kind of want to go get my Greek letters. Scrooge McDucking it is fun, but also it just takes so long. It takes so long. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Well, my balls fell down. Ding. We had a spell of make swap. That's the only big body of water spell I think we've seen so far. It'd take a while if I tried to do it, like, one bottle of water at a time. Happens to everyone eventually. Pyramid's still here? No, 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 I didn't enter a pyramid. What if it wants me to literally bring the fish over? No. Nah. They wouldn't make me do that again, goddammit. Once is enough, right? They wouldn't have me do that twice. We've already had to move fish. It sucked. I don't want to do it again. Congratulations, son. Or would they? You never know with Noida. If we have to put fish in there, that'll be rough. Because uh, I did not see what we need. I didn't see uh, homebringer bolts. That's one way we can move fish around. The other one is uh, circle of buoyancy. End of list. I wish I had a teleport spell. Man, walking sucks. Wish I had my jump pack from Helldivers. What? Man, don't you hate legs? Legs are stupid. Hello, cube. Just a... Weird cube here. Now we got money. If we want to go to hell and shop around, we can. Parallel worlds. We don't have a teleport. And we don't have Ambrosia, so parallels are not high on the, uh, list. Yes. 
curious. God, I wish I had a teleport. Timber! Alright. I think above here is what it was telling me. Because this looks pretty, like... Mount on the left, mount on the right. I really feel like up here. Up here is where we want to go. <coughs> Somewhere up there. It's got a panda. <coughs> a wheel spin could happen. Depends on how our, our Noida explorations go. I feel like if we, we're going to need a teleport. Gunny a teleport, I wanna go up there. Can't skip wheel for two weeks. <laughs> Alright, we'll have a wheel we'll wheel spin in the middle. Alright, we'll get some uh, LARPA. Not LARPA. We'll get some Greek letters. And then we'll head on down into the pit. I mean, would you like to just have the super secret game happen in the middle? Because if it's a random chance on the wheel, we might not land on it. We could just do a, a feature of that. Need my barbecue shoes on. Going down to the house of sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket. I was just gonna be like, alright, if we land on it on the wheel, it'll just be a short little venture and then we'll spin again. What? Hello? Let go? Lost a 1.5 multiplier? Had to sell a joker or I would have lost. Ah! Oh, that's so rough, Marin. Did that tree just disappear? I wasn't looking. Maybe. It might have. Get some bad draws. Bellatro is very tempting. <laughs> this is a small chance to become horribly addicted. It does happen sometimes. There's a reason why I don't walk into casinos in real life. I know what kind of personality I have. An addictive one. <laughs> I had times two in Kings and Queens. Two hands had to be played without any, and one with only one. Ooh. So like Chris doesn't play any gotcha games? Yeah. You know what kind of bank account you've got. You mean one that's empty? I do know I don't have money. But that's why I don't go into a casino, because... That's like one of those... Yeah, but I could have a lot of money if I just put what I do have on a bet, and then I win. Then I can have all the money. That's the kind of thinking that leads to... Problems. Is a gotcha game the kind of game that opens prizes every round? A uh, gotcha game is the kind of game where you you are like opening a, a package of, of things and you're hoping to get a rare character. Usually a gotcha game is like character based. Like I want to get this S rank character in my gotcha game. Examples that are popular would be um, what, is, what the hell is that game that Triaxium plays all the time? Genshin Impact! Genshin Impact.
I think there are Pokemon gacha games out there, but it is not itself a gacha game. Yeah, they're they're gumball machines. If it's in an order, not a gotcha. Hong Kong Space Train, I believe Honkai Star Rail is probably a gotcha. I haven't played it. You could argue that like booster pack based games are sorta of kinda of gotcha games. This is bait for Krios. <laughs> How do I one shot the uh, High Alchemist? High Alchemist is uh, weak to explosion, and my wand was all explosion. Amps. Amps. Amp. Amped. Amped. Let's see. Alpha works for me. Tau works for me. I always love Zeta. Moo has a home here. Grab Moo, put Moo here. Grab Alpha, Alpha can go down here. Cast copy the first spell in your wand, slap you there, put you there. Good old Tau. You know what? That uses 90, this uses 40. Zeta? Zeta is... Is Auras new in this patch? Auras? Tazam. Why would anyone love Zeta? My favorite way to play with Zeta <clears throat> is you get the minigun, you get the experimental wand, you put Zeta in the experimental wand, and then you just have a nice long wand filled with the ammo for Zeta, and then you just... It's just every kind of bullet you want in fast fire mode. Zeta will cast a random copy of every other spell in your other wands. So, like, you could just have a wand filled with ammunition, and then you have a wand that uses Zeta, and every time you pull the trigger, a random spell in the other wand will shoot out of Zeta. <clears throat> it could be very bad for you. It could choose a, a spell that'll kill you immediately. But if you have the right kind of, like, if you plan for it, you can have infinite black holes. You can have infinite black holes with alpha. Like, this is now infinite black holes. Copy of the first spell in your wand. First spell is a black hole. Tau would work. Two of the next spells. Uh, and Zeta would also work if you built around it. Like, Zeta is a lot harder to build around. You have to really plan. But you could do it. You could make some fun stuff. I very much enjoy making stupid Zeta ones. Alright, I only need the two. Grab the key, why not? Alright, now we have unlimited black holes. Unlimited! Let's go heal, and then we're going down into the mushroom house. Going down to the house of mushrooms. Got my spore print cap on. <laughs> Is it twice as powerful as pie? Depends on the flavor of pie. A pumpkin pie? Not as powerful as a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is too powerful. Perhaps the most powerful pie is pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. What's everyone's favorite flavor of pie? 
Who in chat will be the monster that says they don't like pie, but they like cake? You read an amazing comic called The Mushroom Knight. Ooh. Cherry Cobbler is better than pumpkin pie, you sicko. <laughs> Strawberry rhubarb, excellent choice. All right, that's my full heal. We might as well get the uh, health up first. Are you health up? There you are. Oh, it removes everything. But it removes liquids poorly. Inefficiently. Those two are consistent spawns here, by the way. They just are sometimes in different areas. Like, they could be... The health up could be here, and the full heal could be down there. But if you ever need a full heal, there's always one here waiting for you. I am enjoying the new music. Always happy to have more music. Yeah, what we're hearing right now is a new track. It reminds me of, like, <laughs> educational videos from, like, the 1980s on VHS would sometimes go into, like, weird moments, and they would use really weird, trippy music. This right here reminds me of that kind of stuff. Like, if they were trying to explain concepts like, uh, the void of space to a kid. Just like weird atmospheric, low, low, uh, guitar strums in the background. Safety OSHA videos? I don't know if anyone's been seeing these, but China has been, like, putting out a whole bunch of 3D animated safety videos that are brutal. They are so brutal. I don't know, uh how to best describe them, but they are kind of like somewhat stiffly animated 3D models of people in like, yeah, they're they're gruesome, but they're gruesome in like almost a cartoonish way. But they are also very funny. <laughs> they're so funny. Case of Cut music reminds me of that 90s weird atmospheric music. A little bit, a little bit like this. This right here is definitely like the kind of stuff I remember hearing as a kid. Or still here when I watch weird stuff. Aperture Science Brutal? Like, one of them, a guy's reaching into a machine, and another guy pulls, turns on the machine, and the guy just gets wrapped around, like, the pole, spinning very quickly. Which, in real life, would be a, a horrifying thing to see. Like, blood and bone and sinew, like, horrible. But because he's a floppy 3D model that doesn't have blood or anything, like, he just is ragdolling around the tube. And it's gruesome, but it's gruesome in a funny way. I kind of want to try and collect all of them, and, uh... My plan for the BRB screen is to eventually make it so, like... The format of the BRB screen, like... The general out... Like, a, a screen in a screen kind of thing. <clears throat> and then, in that screen, we'll have the clips we currently have... Have an updated clips thing playing. And then the gotcha and the Japanese uh, commercials can have their own versions in there. And then one of them could just be hilarious safety videos, because I love workplace safety videos. There's that German one where a forklift just goes off on an adventure, a dude's arms are ripped off. It's all very goofy and funny. It's like a comedy version of a workplace safety video. I have it on my computer at glorious 240p.
I've seen a real life live leak type video of someone getting literally wrapped into a roller machine. Ah, uh, that kind of stuff. Teenage me watched that kind of stuff. Adult me, no time. I don't want. I don't want to watch that anymore. <laughs> no live leak for me anymore. Steak, what's going on? And thank you, Steak, for that resubscription. How you doing? You saw that video, brutal. I bet. Joining some wine after a frustrating day. Oh. I'm sorry your day was frustrating, but I'm glad that you're kicking back and relaxing now. <laughs> the ones in the, the litter box half amuse you and half horrify you? Yeah. Sometimes I wish I hadn't looked. <laughs> ah, I'm glad to help you out. It shut down in 2021, probably for the best. Those orbs over there, uh, each orb happens when you do different sun quests. And if you take those and you put them on uh, the altar on top of the Holy Mountain, something fun might happen. Yeah, we need a teleport spell if we're going to get up and see if there's something above uh, the lake. The pond, I should say, not the lake. Mushroom land. Hello again. I appreciate that they're usually not... They're not injured too grievously. Whatever happened is almost entirely their fault, because they are like, Yeah, what's gonna happen if I, uh, dive into this open fire? It's like, you, you put yourself in this situation. Give me a teleport. I will take that, though. Slap that there, get back my old ones. Very funny. Pinkies are the dumbest enemy in this game. Which one are you calling the pinkies? My brain, when someone says pinkies, I think of like the pinky demons and doom. Exactly. Oh, the healers! Yes. They are not smart. Alright, Homebringer. I don't think we're gonna need it, but we're gonna grab it just in case. Ambrosia? Don't break the Ambrosia bottles! God damn it. 
Shrestle, what's going on? So far, so good. Oh my god! I forgot to hit the record button again. Well, I get to download the first uh, hour and a half, two hours of the VOD now. I really need, like, <laughs> I need people to remind me when I start the stream. It's like, don't forget to hit the record button! When it used to be automatic, everything was good. Now it's not automatic anymore. But yes, it's going good, it's going good. I'm trying to solve a, a mystery. I guess right now we're not solving mystery. Right now we're looking for a teleport spell. Another homing spell would be uh, ideal. Come on. I wouldn't say no to a bottle of ambrosia. Turn into pea soup. I think it was uh, fungus blood, because we're seeing a lot of pea soup, and the only thing that's dying around here is mushrooms. Oh, this is one of the squishiest places in the game right here. But great if you're looking for hearts, or like, if you're missing a spell. The highest concentration of wands is right here. I would say even more so than. Uh, than any of the magic dens. Like the wizard dens, you would think, oh yeah, there's a lot of wands there. But I think this place has just more. More wands per capita. I use that term, right? Such high density wandage, yes. Or if you need some acid, lots of acid down here. No, he's not currently. And I know he's playing Bellatro. He might be even more addicted to Bellatro than I am. Ow! But that sicko doesn't like Rift Wizards. Nor does he particularly like Noida. Which just makes him wrong. Just wrong. You're playing the stocks game? Oh yeah, yeah, I I am very interested in the stocks game. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. I mean, we're making that spell real good. Doesn't have what I need yet. Didn't didn't mean to hit that button. Wrong wand. She got beat up and harassed by the oxen. <laughs> Being a peak, peak bubble Japanese investor <laughs> in the 80s sounds like a lot of fun for a video game. Come on. One teleport spell game, just one. Not asking for much. Are you kidding me? But he doesn't believe in mod restarts. 
Hell, I was gonna mod restart and I wasn't even doing parallels. But once I did a little BRB, it seems to have uh, calmed down. I'm sorry, that's just called potion? It's just called potion. Spend every night in a bar, dealing with stress. It sounds like a fun game. I want potion, yeah. Shit. We got teleported. Potion? Potion's alive? Baby, there's mimic potions now. That's so good. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry. The only way to make him show up in that list was to murder him. It's not my fault they designed video games based around violence. It wouldn't let me pick him up. <laughs> You're telling me there's a time when chat's not naughty? I've known chat nearly my whole life. They've always been naughty. Haha, <laughs> sucker. My virgin eyes! Alright, so far, no teleports. So, Ephemeris, any, any fun interactions with this new Mimic Potion that I shouldn't have murdered him for? I am very curious about this new potion, friend. Not getting your way is violence. <laughs> I just meant the only way I have to interact with that guy was to kill him. Broadly, yes. Go on. I couldn't pick him up. I did try to pick him up. But no picking up was happening. Hello, sexy. This goes here, and now this goes here. This one is now complete. This one has grown more powerful than ever before. Moving right along. I'm a little bit too far right. We're just doing like vertical sweeps. Try harder to be friendly with it. All right, all right. If we find another one. I don't have uh, the tools to be friendly necessarily, but that's how you're friendly with me. Is you bring whiskey? I feel I feel like maybe for that guy we need uh, everyone's favorite liquid. 
Which I haven't actually seen today, have we? There has been no appearances by uh, pheromones. I haven't seen pheromones today. I mean, hopefully we run into another little Mimic Potion. Oh, I wish I had taken Slime Blood. Pure Duck. Duck Duck Death. I passed through a portion of this area, but not all the way down. Have I looked at this one? Yes. Maybe a little. Oh, all right, ah, right there. This will be my vertical slice. Come on. Game's being awfully stingy. With the teleports. Awfully stingy. That's a real ducking wand. Pea soup. Yeah, no fungus for us. Oh, a high recoil wand, you know? That is one way we can get some air. I have been focusing entirely on uh, teleporting, but... We just need to move up. Unless we want to do parallels. Actually, it does dip again, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll s use the dipping section here. Going good, going good. I'm checking out the, uh, the beta branch here of Noida. Got some updates. We're looking for a teleport spell that we could use. That'd be super. Well, then now, after being pointed out, yep, updates. A high recoil one would do. It is nice to see any more Noida in the world. City. Oh. Hello, Edmana, my old friend. Always take Edman. Make sure I have the right ones. We've made these mistakes before. I mean, 
How many frames does anyone truly need? Is that true circular orbit? I don't need the laser beam wand anymore. Ah, uh, Death Cross. Well, I don't mean like we could throw the wand away, I just mean we don't need it. Like, its functionality can be replaced with something else. Like, we could turn into a healing wand. We have a digging wand now. Oh, oh it's... I just need... I'm one piece away! Almost there. I got slimy. I got damaging fields, got the homing, I got unlimited spells, we just gotta find slime cloud, baby. How does accelerating homing work on slime cloud? What happened to the tower? Well, we're looking for a teleport spell so we could, uh, you know, go up and see what's going on with the tower. And digging? We got this guy for digging right here. Yeah. What's the significance of where you put things in the wands? So the wands work left to right if there are non-shuffle wands. So for the most part, you want active ingredients at the ends and then passive things in the middle and whatever you're using to get things off the ground on the left if you're doing something like a nested one so for me i got magic bolts with a personal gravity field if i hit an enemy with this they'll have this attached to them and then inside of this all of these things are being applied to any four things after this so all of these are here ow ow <coughs> oh yeah, drilling shot. I would like drilling shot too. More ambrosia. I just, I need something to move me. I would like to make a travel wand right now. The game is being awfully stingy with teleports. has a 14 capacity, so 10 less slots, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's literally 10 slots in this wand I'm not using, and this would make it so I don't need one of the slots anyway. 780? It is a step down in the mana capacity department. But it would be pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's pick it up for a second. Just obliterate the level real fast. Uh, put you there. Nice 
nice, nice. Honestly, I only need the one box. Saw this to a three. Now I have room for two more modifiers. LARPA is a modifier, but it's built into the wand, baby! Don't need two copies of it. It doesn't do two things. It only does the one. Uh, let's see here. I guess this one can go into that one, man. Eh? Now. Ah, uh, hell, where'd the wand go? I want to lose that. Which one was I doing? 940, 830. This one goes here now. Just cause, why not? And this will one day be a teleport wand. Cool, cool, cool. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. God damn it. Please, game. I just want to be able to move around faster. You like my spell grouping gaps? You do the same thing? It helps me, like, immediately understand what I'm doing. It's like an organizational thing. It's like, oh, yeah, I know where this is going. It's going here. I'm glad other people do that, too. <laughs> we all that money. Healing money. Are oh, you looking that one? Down left and then back up. There's like one teleport wand down here somewhere, right? Come on. <laughs> Look at that. Like, there might be one in the dungeon somewhere, but god, we went everywhere. So slow. Just 
just go to hell. Hell almost certainly doesn't have a teleporter. Upwards LARPA. Hell typically has, like, super high value stuff. Which is nice. Like, we go up there, we're gonna find, you know, multiply by... Or, sorry, divide by. Touch ofs. Good stuff, of course. Like, real good stuff, but... I don't think I've ever seen just a bog standard teleport spell down there. And if it was down there, could you bring yourself to spend, like, 30,000 gold on, like, short-range teleport bolt? I would. I would spend any amount of money right now. <laughs> any amount of gold. They could rob me blind. It only contains tier 10 spells. That makes sense. Tracks with what I've seen. Please, no. Not over a pool of acid, thank you. Ah, you stirred the acid out of existence. Good work. We're gonna be very healthy by the end of this journey. Whether or not we're able to go up into the sky, I don't know. God damn it. All right. Keep your eyes open for, uh... I threw mine away. But ideally a version without trigger, but... <coughs> if you see me pass by... Magic Bolt. Point it out to me. Magic Bolt has a decent high recoil. With a fast enough wand and Ed Mana, we could probably fly with it. Like our laser beam wand, we could turn into a recoil based flight machine. Get out of my fucking face. God damn it, little guy. This one, I can feel it. This is the one. It has teleport. God damn it. That one right there. Right there, that's the one. Upper right. Please wear off. Please. Woo! A moment of fright. Jesus. Oh boy, fizzle. Okay, that one was a bust. The 
come on. Outrageous. Outrageous. How is there no teleport? Like, every spell of the game has been passed by down here so far. Just not looking hard enough. We're like, systematically tearing this place apart. We're almost to the left-hand wall, I think. You know, I kind of want to take this one just in case. Right, right, right. You wanted me to check out Spore Pod. All right, let's grab Spore Pod too. Homebringer, anti-homing. You know what? I'm drunk. I don't have whiskey or anything like that. Get the slime off of me! I'd like to be able to move fast. Thank you. you guys doing here? One of the sound effects definitely sounded like the yelp of a Tom and Jerry character. Specifically, Tom. I don't know if anyone else heard. It was brief, but it was there. Right there. That sounds. Tom and Jerry-esque. Gotta be kidding me. Is this a world without teleportation magic? Has, has no one invented it yet? Dude, that hurt! Guy got a good shot off on me. I think, I think we're just gonna have to like fly via recoil in the near future. What tier is this area? I don't know, like if it has a specific tier or not. Spells wise, you can find almost anything down here. I've definitely found teleports down here before. Usually when I need something, I'm like, we gotta go down to Mushroom Land, because that's where you find stuff. Just a good place to go look at if you're looking for spells. Tier two, three, and four spells. Oh. Nothing above four? Where? Like, I've come down here and just, like, teleport spell, teleport spell, teleport spell, when I don't need them. Increased duration? I already got one on here. I don't really need any more. At the moment, anyway. I mean, later on, maybe we'll want more. Well, I guess we'll just do a quick theory crafty. Uh... Really? That's the fastest you could shoot? I need another chainsaw. Serviceable. Serviceable. There we go, fixed it. Yeah, Ambrosia's the other thing I want. But I feel like we'll have a better chance if I just go to... <coughs> I 
go back to floor two, hit up the overgrown cavern there. There's probably Ambrosia in there. Sir? Swear to God. I think, I think this is it. I think we're out of luck for a teleport wand. We can head up floor two's overgrown cavern. There's a chance. Like, decent chance for Ambrosia there. Not a great chance, but there's also a chance we'll run into a teleport spell in that one. Back to upwards, Larpa. Alright. Make a quick little uh, heal wand. Do some healing. Once I'm back over at the wall on the left hand side. Should be the closest one. Here we go. Uh, take the orbit off for a second. Yum, yum, yum. for a moment we take you apart take you out put you there tow it up all set nice and healed the hell out of here. I'll put this back here. Yeah, we'll go look for, uh, I guess we can go and see if there's anything above the fish ponds. We have a recoil means of flight now. It's not the optimal flight I wanted, but it's flight. Yeah, we're gonna fly up here. Ah, ha, ha. Save myself a little time. You're right. The poor man's teleport. Instead of duck spore pots. I think you need piercing shot. The spore pods will fuck me up.
Yep, ow. Oh, I still like ducks. Wait. The tower's to the right. <gasps> Wait. We want to go above the pond. I like that this is the best we could do. Couldn't find a single goddamn teleport. Terrible for going left or right. It only goes up good. Shoot the earth until gravity stops bothering you. That's the second most American thing. What's the first most American thing? Nail guns. Alright, let's see if there's anything up here. Ominous temple. Ominous liquid. Now I suppose, before I go too deep into the temple, I should ask. Is there something we need in here that I should go look for? The fish! <gasps> An arrow going left. Hello, arrow. All right, left. I like this music. This is good stuff. Is there an arrow pointing right? There's an arrow pointing right as well. Huh. So we were right that the tower was pointing us to here, but what's it telling us now? <coughs> Try left. Right. Go higher. Try and maintain this level elevation here. You play Outpost Infinity Siege? What? What? What's that? Henkeva Temple. Oh my. Empty potion. It has a it has a symbol. That's one of those guys. I think we want to go get some pheromone potion. Oh, I got pee. 
Like, that's clearly, that's like a mimic. You can tell it has a symbol. Objects don't have those. What's that? Empty potion? Crazy extraction shooter, tower defense, roguelite, RTS, saw it on Splattercat. I have not heard of this one, I don't think. Alright, we definitely gotta go get some pheromone potion. There's all kinds of little bottle friends here. Including one in the water up there. I go pee. BRB. What's wrong with bathroom sandwiches? We got a bunch of living bottles in here. Seeing some. You would rather I had to, like, wander off for hours just looking for a bottle of this stuff? We could pick it up if it's friendly. Does not fill with liquid. What's that mean? Can't pick this one up. Alright, pheromone potion makes them friendly. You can pick them up. They remain empty. Has little spider legs. It's either we need to have a bunch of them here. But yeah, we could bring them back to the other temple. We should also go to the right and see what the other temple... I assume there's another temple on the right.
top off. I mean, if it wants ten of them, we're already halfway there now. Let's go on a journey, though. We got two to play with. All right, they're all over the place in here. Further left? I was going to go to the right. All right, is there another owl left? All right, further left. Tasty sandwich. Baron Temple, huh? Grass? Fire? Given this iciness, maybe fire? Potion. <gasps> no, 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 no! No! I didn't think you would be pulled that way. We got him. Got a new friend. Mimicium potion. Abram, hello there. Interesting. All right, we got we got Mimicium potion. It's a living bottle. He's a little friend of ours now. This little friend, unfortunately, I don't have room for for him. I gotta hold on to our our pheromone. What if we spray this on you a little bit? Like, can we make mimics? I don't know. I don't know. I'm figuring this out as we go. Alright, it poises me to drink it. So, uh, don't drink it. Don't drink it. When I drop the water? I mean, I'm not immune to fire. If I drop the water and if we go on fire, we're out of, we're just out of luck. 
We don't need pheromone anymore. All right, we don't need pheromone. squeaking friends I think maybe we want to go back and make 10 friendly rolling around bottles bottle bodies I mean we might want to put something fire here but I'm fixated on the bottle bottle problem right now <laughs> drum roll sounds Should we go back down and get our buddy if we don't need pheromone anymore? Like, this clearly made that friendly. It could be grass. Like, it doesn't look a lot like fire or grass. But, like, it kind of looks a little bit. Yeah, I throw this dude at a wall by mistake. It's not out of the question. It could happen. Damn it. Yeah, we have arrows going right. We should, I guess, before we do anything, we should look at that. All right, we got three friends in my pocket. There's so many things to test with Mimikium. Is that an animated bottle with spider legs in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Didn't see any arrow left from here. I can't seem to put liquids in the bottle at all outside of Mimikium. Mimikium seems to be the only liquid I could use. If I do a little... Alright, Mimikium doesn't seem to interact with pheromone at all. There must be more friends. This might... This might be my new favorite quest in Noida. This is good stuff. This is real good stuff. Make a little squeaky noises. Summons a large body of Mimikium under the caster. Okay. Do I know what Mimikium does? Not yet. 
figuring it out as we go along here. Only two casts, huh? I mean, we gotta test Mimiki on things. <clears throat> All right, so we unlocked a new spell. Yeah, Heasy Base would be a nice place to dump it. I guess we'll follow the signs pointing to the right now. Let's see what's going on this way. <laughs> this is good stuff. More games need benign creatures interact with, yes. You should see how people in the Souls games community react to, like, Bloodborne, there's one dog you could find that its AI was broken, so it just kind of hangs out, doesn't attack you. Everyone loved that dog. Same with Elden Ring, yep, yep. You've seen this in another stream. Ah. <laughs> you don't own the game? Uh, one of my favorite games right here. Totally, totally recommend. Wholeheartedly recommend Noida. One by the old round table. Yeah, yeah. You just started playing Elden Ring? You're in for a good time. Phenomenal game. I'm very excited for the DLC. I don't remember the second temple being this far away. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, I was seeing clouds there. There we go, Kiwi Temple. No sign pointing right. I assume just one sign pointing left. This is the fourth? Yeah, I jumped over the third? God damn it. Feel free to let me know if I should do the third first before I do this one. A rock boss. I wonder if that's one of the new bosses, or... A lot of the bosses kind of look like rocks. Alright, we'll go in order. I have no qualms doing the other one. We'll do this one after we do the third one. A lot of the bosses kind of look like rocks. Oh, well, that sounds like that's just gonna be in there then. Isn't this where we started? This is the one above, uh... This is the one above the pond. Yeah, we started here. Was this here before? So you like brick pattern with a plus sign built into it? 
Oh, oh, oh. Does it want something here? Wavy rock? Wavy rock? Easier than the way they did both the other one. <laughs> I wonder what they did. Milk! Minimally sated. Alright, well, ominous liquid's not something I want to swim in. I guess maybe we'll drain it and get the, uh, the chest out of there? Want to drain it without, uh, you know, destroying the chest. He says he doesn't wanna. <laughs> Ominous liquid, bad, bad for you. I was stuck on this little bit of geometry. I was like, okay, time to move. Man, I'm as liquid's thick, huh? It's like when you watch, uh, I was watching a video of, I can't remember what the chemical was. It was like a truck uh, dumping a specific type of liquid chemical and it looked like it was... looked like reality was broken. Why does the rain suck so bad today? Yes, yeah, very viscous liquid. Alright, what did I pick up just then? Touch of grass. Remember when I was like, it looks like fire, maybe grass. Alright. Alright. Looks like we're going left again. Do we have long, long distance cast though? <laughs> Laminar flow, Scarlack. I don't know, but Ephistus, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Shake the Box family. Very happy to have you here. Only four casts of it. We 
you just put it. We can put it on a, a trigger. That'll that'll keep us safe. All right, let's go to the other place. So, temple to the left of here was the bottles. We did that one. Temple to the right of that is where we found the bottle, but we also saw the symbol that looks like it wants us to do grass. say this new quest they added peak noida peak noida good stuff this is really taking me back to uh the quest to find the the broken spell and then fix the broken spell that was that was very good i miss miss the early noida days now we gotta go left of here Got a new friend. Got some new spells. Yeah, yeah, the incomplete spell, the broken spell. To make the end of everything. It's a very good, very good uh, quest line. So there's something here we're gonna find. This we're still looking for. Touch of grass. There's gonna be another touch of. Yeah, the end of everything quest is like my favorite quest in Noida. Touch of ass, I hope. What does end of everything do? End of everything causes like a giant screen filling effect that is hard to survive, but if you survive it, it will spawn a great chest. What do we have here now? Cessation. Perverted Angel Mark! Hello there. How's it going? Is the chest worth it? It can be. It's one of the few ways to uh, complete a very hard to do thing in the game. <coughs> the realm of no realm. Let's see here. Deer we have plans for. Anti-homing might be important. I don't think we're going to need Homebringer Teleport at this point, but maybe we'll hold on to it. This we definitely don't need. Uh, as much as I love Explosion and Slimy, we haven't found Slime Cloud. I guess I could just huck it on uh, this one. It doesn't do anything. Just gonna sit there. Just gonna suck up mana we're not using. Well, let's see what happens. What? happens when we do it enters the realm of no realm cost no mana
Long recharge. Where's this go on the list? Way down here. <laughs> Extend duration. I mean, we have it. <laughs> it does, in fact, increase the time we are not in, in this dimension. What's it mean? Interesting. Well, we have it. It's probably less of a functional spell and more of a, like, it's a piece of the puzzle we're currently working on, I assume. I don't know for sure. Cast the end of everything and just duck out. That would be an interesting way to go about it. Just a pile of, like, add lifetime ups. Sorry, I'm sorry, dude. I'm wrong button. I had no wand I had equipped. <laughs> Fuck, God. Sorry, grass. I'll be on my way. Bye. <laughs> All right, we have touch of grass still, which I think. Oh, that's my my wand down here. This one. <laughs> Yeah, it does, does... What happens, we're underwater. Doesn't look like it. Unclear. Yeah, everything goes away. It's a very peaceful spell, yeah. I'm not sure what we do with that one. You have to have a duration of minus one. Reduce lifetime, huh? It's just game's over. So I guess we're gonna go to the last temple now. <laughs> what? Vladimir Trippin! Thank you for that follow and welcome. To the Shake the Box family. Happy to have you here. What if I do that? I'll disappear, but the bolt will be in the air, and if I hit something, it turns to grass. Go with the puzzle? Thank you. <laughs> One temple left to look at, but I was told that the other temple is a scary temple. This one we want to go right at this one. Am 
My experiments have all ended in death. Next part's very confusing. I love that they added a bunch of sky temples with a big old puzzle attached to it because sky temples are the best. Why am I suddenly 95% wet? Am I going through a cloud? I passed it, didn't I? Right here. Right here, I'm permanently wet. Where the hell is this temple? How do I keep not finding this one? Alright, ominous liquid one. That ominous liquid is how I figured out where I was. We need an altimeter. Like, I need I need something to let me know how high up in the air I am. Was it to the left of this or the right of this? Ultimeter measures the ultimateness of it all. All right, here we go. The Revenge of Rock. What was that just now? Oh, he has like a... He's pushing it away. Well... Was I able to turn the grass that way? Oh, I definitely hit the ground where he was with grass. He didn't get affected. All right, no grass then. At least not right now. What was he doing out here? He's supposed to be inside. Rock on rock. Wait, he did take damage? Sorry, is that my ghost right there? <laughs> I think he got me. What happened? Cause of death, holy. We got him. Doesn't say I was killed by him, though. Curious about that ghost. I imagine there's another step involved, had I not been dead.
looked like your projectile hit at the moment secession took place. It took three damage. I don't know. Interesting. It looks like something like latched onto me. Even I died twice in rapid succession. So it's gone. <clears throat> Three orbs appear. They kill my ducks. Creating gold, and then a ghost of me appears. With a wand. I'm curious about the one more chance. Like, I died and then died again, I'm guessing? I think I could see what we need cessation for. We need to not exist while that thing is dying, probably. Very interesting. Very interesting. They may have turned me into a ghost. <laughs> I'll save this one. Should we try again? Should we try and kill Rock? I mean, we killed Rock. But should we try and like see what happens post-Rock? We now know how to do the first X steps of this. We just need an empty bottle to get this started. And ideally, the power to fly got rocked. Those three circles look like the reward for killing the rock. Maybe, maybe. We definitely unlock something then? I don't know. I don't know if we unlocked. I mean, we got new spells. So I don't know if they'll show up. Figured I shouldn't uh, spoil any further. How much more is there? Just just rough ballpark. Yeah, we got new spells unlocked. But there's more after that, that rock, right? I want to try and kill the rock right. 